The group was founded in 1983 by some local families in Navarra with the support of the Caja Rural, which is a bank, a rural bank here in, in Navarra. And uh, well, that's basically the Principe de Viana Winery. In year 2000, the group decided to expand and to create, to build a new winery, more focused in, in niche products, more, uh, well, very terroir-oriented products, small productions. And that's when Albert was born. That was year 2000. The general philosophy of our group is to try to give consumers enjoyable wines and become part of their satisfaction. We really want consumers to have a good time with our wines. That's our key goal. I mean, we don't want to be the most awarded wines. We don't want to be the most expensive wines. We just want wines for people that love wine. The name of it or the brand is 1423. Mm, the reason is that that was the year in which Carlos III, a king in Spain a long time ago, decided to create the Principia, Principado de Viena. So it was, it's a, a, a prince, he gave this title to one of his sons, and this title has uh, stayed within the royal crown of Spain until today. So nowadays, Prince, prince Philip, he's the, he's the owner of, the, of this title of the Principe de Viena. So he comes every, every year. There's a big event in Viana, which is a very nice city located in the in west of, of Navarra. And there are also some very important awards in Spain, which are called Principe de Viana, which are given to very uh, important personalities. So the whole, uh, we are related to history, but at the same time, we are modern in terms of Principe de Viana winemaking. So we try to, uh, to link our roots to our history and our traditions, but at the same time, in terms of winemaking, we try to be to produce wines that consumers are actually looking for, some modern wines, stylistically speaking, and uh, wines enjoyable for every type of consumers. We grow uh, basically all the grape varieties that are authorized here in Navarra. So we have big plantings of Tempranillo and Garnacha, which would be the two most important grape varieties. But we also do more inter uh, do have international varieties like Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Merlot. That actually Cabernet and Merlot blend very well with the Tempranillo, and it's one of the identities, I would say, of the Navarra blend, what they call the Navarra blend. The the winery decided to plant these vari these varieties over a long, long period of time. So actually, it was not. This has been uh, a long process because they, we, have, we do a big analysis of the terroirs and over the years we're learning from the terroirs, from the climate, we know which grape variety grows better in which type of land. So we have been learning through the, through the time and we realized that these grape varieties suited very well the vineyard, uh, the, the terroirs where they're planted and that was the main reason why we decided to, to plant these, these varieties. We export to more than 60 countries right now. So the U.S. is an important one for us because we also work with uh, some companies that, uh, not with our brand, that we produce for other companies, big companies in the United States. But our focus is, of course, in our brands, in Principe de Viana and Albrecht.